Before you knew it, it was time to end the season. The final race of the year got underway with Steffi Halm and René Reiner on the front row. Anthony Janiak being put to the back of the grid after one of the mechanics messed with the truck in Park Ferme. Steffi Halm was hoping to get a podium, same too with René Reiner after he hadn't secured one all year. Janiak headed for the pit lane at the very beginning, but everybody got things underway with feisty racing from the off. Stefan Fass here clipping Shane Brayton as they go three wide with Norbert Kish through turn two. Sasha Lenz took the lead early on with everybody piling in behind. A bit of contact with Steffi Halm and Adam Latchko. But there was more contact further back as Ryan Smith outbroke himself, made big contact with Teo Calve and the pair of them would be out of the race for good. Calve able to recover the truck from turn eight and make his way back around the track. Further up, there was a humongous snake of trucks making their way around the final corners. This here, the view from Norbert Kish chasing down Jochen Hahn. Very close racing, as you see everybody following on from one another. But after this earlier contact between Shane Brayton and Stefan Fass, a later incident would see Brayton off the road. He would then try to recover and rejoin the circuit, but clipped the side of Stefan Fass, who went on one hell of a wild ride. Stefan would unbelievably go to recover and even get onto the Goodyear Cup podium as Shane was given a 10 second penalty. Norbert Kish managed to chase down Jochen Hahn, eventually gaining places on him, Albertetti and Steffi Halm. Shane Brayton, suffering from a bit of damage, would start to chuck out plumes of smoke towards the end of the race. The Goodyear Cup champion having a bit of a tough time. But before you knew it, Alia Kolok outdid them all with the biggest smoke screen of the weekend. Her engine letting go and unfortunately bringing out the red flag, ending the weekend and the championship one lap prematurely. Ali was perfectly fine and the truck was recovered, but it meant that Sasha Lenz was declared as the race winner and he celebrated very, very well with his team. A great way to round out his season. Let's remember this last season was cancelled, uh, shortened due to pandemic and now finally oh, everyone is able to celebrate. How is it? So the COVID pandemic was a real challenge for us. I have to admit, all the sponsors had our back and everyone tried to help us out. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very grateful to be the Vice European Champion this year and I'm really happy that we made it. Sasha Lenz very emotional there at the end of the weekend, but a very well-deserved podium for him, René Reiner and Steffi Halm. An old German podium, an MAN and two Ivicos along the way. Antonio Albertetti classified ahead of Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kisch in the end. Adam Latchko is seventh, with Lucas Hahn completing another Goodyear Cup win. A fantastic weekend for him. Jamie Anderson is ninth, ahead of Stefan Fass after Shane Brayton's penalty. Shane Brayton takes the Goodyear Cup championship win after a tough final race with Alia Kolok being classified 30 seconds down and Andre Kurzim being classified in 13th place. But that is all from the 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Championship. It's been an amazing year, a really amazing experience for me, and I hope to see you all next year.